uno, dos, tres. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday night. I hope that all of you are amazing, whatever you're doing. I'm feeling good. I'm like, it's so much emotions because this game, we're going to talk about Barca versus Real Sociedad. We got the job done. We, we got the three points that we needed. But wow, like this game, I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm so confused because the first half and second half, it was like day and night. The first half, it was so beautiful. Like, one of the best, if not the best half we had this season so far. We played exactly how Barca should play. We played as a team. Everyone was involved. Frankie pushing forward. Jordi making amazing runs, setting players up. Greasy, Braithway, Pedricito. He was just so good in this game, if not man of the match. Like, Pedri, oof, till he got off because he sacrificed himself, his body. When he made that block and hit the goal post, like he saved her style game because Alexander is like the Swedish player. Of course, I want him to do good, but not in this game. So I was happy about that. But uh, Isaac for Real Sociedad, he had her style game beat, but Pedri out of nowhere, this guy and throwing himself, clearing it. But he had to get off because it was just a big hit. He's definitely gonna get a lot of bruises on that on his body, but Pedri just ah. Mm, bellissimo, molto bene, fantastico, I don't know what to say. But anyways, back to the first half. I'm so confusing, I'm sorry. Uh, Jordi scored, for because uh, Real Sociedad, they, they scored first in like the 30th minute, something like that. And they like that's why I was so shocked, because we did so good, and then they taking the lead. I'm like, what is going on? But we responded quick and amazing. We took the lead in the first half before they blew the whistle. First goal, beautiful by Jordi, like, hey, golazo, it was just stunning. If you didn't walk, if you didn't see that goal, you need to go and check out the highlights, because it was just amazing, beautiful. And the second one, it was Frankie, yeah, yeah, yeah. They thought he was offside, but he uh, shot that one in, powerful and confident. So I'm just happy that we took the lead in the first half, because we deserved it, okay? Before the disaster <laughs> happened. I just want to give credit to Mingueza. And Arajo, they started together. You know, Mingueza, you can tell that he's brought up in the academy. He's just so aggressive, confident. Arajo, he's from Uruguay, signed to Barca B. So he's not from the academy, but he still fits perfectly. Just defensively so aggressive and uh, brave. I just love to see them both. Overall, in the first half, just crazy pressing, great attacking. We played as a team. It, how Barca should play, super happy about that. Then the second half, <laughs> I cannot believe it like this, which is so bad. Like, I don't even have words. Terrible, awful. We basically collapsed. We couldn't create no attacks or keep the ball. But I want to say this. I'm glad that we managed to hold freaking on and not collapse, collapse, you know. <laughs> Pedri had to get off around the 70th, something like that, because of the situation with Isaac. But he did his thing throughout this game. Just so beautiful to see him out there today, setting up players, both Griezmann and Braithwaite back to back. And I just cannot believe that Griezmann didn't make that goal, you guys. That was probably... Or one of them, or if not the most worst, biggest miss of his life. Like, there's no way he could not have scored, and he didn't. Like, he could smell the line. Like, it was just, I still cannot believe that he didn't make that one, you guys. That one is going to hunt him forever, I'm sure. It's just, it's just weird. And then Braithwaite, too. Uh, it was a couple of chances, but, I mean, it's football. It is what it is, and... We didn't see Ricky out there, unfortunately. But I just want to say something, because a few days ago, Kuman came out and said, or I read on Twitter that he's calling Ricky a leaker. And it's just strange, because Kuman is giving all the young players a chance, except Ricky. And uh, from what we have seen, there's no uh, point of not giving Ricky a chance, because every time he played, he's been amazing. So it's something going on uh, behind the scenes that we don't know about, because I just cannot buy in that Kuman is just being a stubborn coach. It, it gotta be more to it. I gotta mention Ter Stegen in this game, too. He has some amazing saves. 
Speaking of someone who did not have a good game, I'm gonna say Trinquao. Like, what was he doing? What kind of pass was that at the end to Messi? I usually be complimenting him, but not tonight. This was not it. But that's the only thing that I can like complain about a little bit. But overall, we're fifth place now. And even though the second half was so bad, we still were fighting hard till the end. And that says a lot. It means a lot for the team, the energy, the vibes. Messi too was out there doing his thing. And just clapping, hyping the players up like a leader should do. But... Yeah, I think I said everything that I wanted to say. Let me know what you guys think if you watch this game. I need to hurry up and edit this video and post it. So, have an amazing night, whatever you're gonna do. Ciao, bye, adios. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe too. Bye, you guys.